explain construction and working of double beam spectrophotometer. Spectrophotometers are the instrument which are working at a wavelength where the absorbance is maximum. Such wavelength of the radiations whose absorbance is maximum is called lambda max. With the help of spectrophotometer, we can have quantitative as well as qualitative analysis of any type of sample. It may be solid, liquid or gas. It may be colored or colorless. The spectrophotometers are of two types, single beam spectrophotometer and double beam spectrophotometer. The following are the main components of the double beam spectrophotometer. First is the source of radiation. It may be UV light, visible light or IR radiation. UV light can be obtained by heating the filament which is filled with either hydrogen gas or deuterium. Visible radiation can be obtained by incandescent lamp with tungsten filament and IR radiations can be obtained by heating Newton's Glover at the temperature of 1500 to 2000 degrees Celsius. Newton's Glover is metallic oxide of yttrium, erbium and zirconium. IR radiations can also be obtained by heating Glowbar which is silicon carbide or carborandum at the temperature of 1300 to 1700 degrees Celsius. Then there is collimating convex lens. The function of collimating convex lens is to collect all the rays coming from the source. After that there is diaphragm. It is used to set 100% transmittance. Then there are monochromators. Monochromators are used to obtain the radiation of one wavelength. The monochromators may be prism or diffraction grating. After that there are two plane mirrors are placed. These plane mirrors are used to change the direction of the beam of light. After mirrors, there are two quets, one for the sample and one for the blank solution. And finally, there are two photo cells placed. One is connected to the quet which is containing sample solution and the other is connected to the quet which is containing blank or solvent. And finally, these photo cells are connected with the computer so that we can get the signal. So let's discuss the working of double beam spectrophotometer. First of all, the source of radiation from UV light to visible light to IR radiation is started. The light from the source is collected by collimating convex lens and allowed to fall on monochromators. For each radiation incident on monochromator, we are getting the radiation of one wavelength only that is one lambda. The monochromatic light is then separated in two beams with the help of two mirrors. One beam is passed through one kuwait containing blank solution and the other through the other kuwait containing sample solution and both are finally incident on detectors. Detectors may be photocell or thermocouple where the heat is produced which is then converted to current and finally optical density or absorbance. The signal generator is plotted as optical density or absorbance versus lambda. Value of wavelength where the absorbance is maximum is known as lambda max which is characteristic property of the compound and gives the qualitative analysis of the sample. While knowing the value of absorbance, we can find out the concentration of the solution by using Beer Lambert's law. Thus, quantitative analysis is possible. Double beam spectrophotometer have following advantages over single beam spectrophotometers. As the two beams of radiations are passed simultaneously from the sample solution and blank, therefore any fluctuation in voltage can be compensated or cancelled. As the two beams are passed from blank and sample solution, any impurities present in the solvent will not affect the absorbance. Accuracy is more than single beam spectrophotometer. But the last is the main disadvantage of this instrument is it's costly. If you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel.